Pisces, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is a message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is an energy reading, so it comes to you when you are open and receptive to receiving it, but we're going to cast out for the next seven days for the week ahead Pisces. So this is where your message begins. Surrender now. And when this comes up, this is Sagittarian energy. And when this comes up, it's very, it's not intentionally tricky energy, but it's tricky to understand because we think to ourselves, okay, surrender now, moth to a flame, like a moth to a flame. Think like a moth to a flame, like a moth to a flame. The moth doesn't surrender to the flame. The reason why the moth gets burnt and destroyed by the flame is because it won't surrender. It is trying to work itself out of its situation and it's making all the wrong decisions, thinking it's making the right one. It's kind of flipped in the brain. So what this card is calling you to do is to surrender now. Surrender now. Give up, give over. Surrender now, Pisces, because you're about to burn yourself up or burn yourself out. And if you really, really, really want liberation from this cycle that you're in, what you need to do is surrender. Because it's in surrendering that the moth avoids the flame and doesn't destroy itself. So, Let's continue with this message, Pisces. Remember, while I'm dividing the deck, any card that comes out is meant for a part of the is a part of the message. So I'm just going to leave it on the table. If you're looking for a personal message, then please go to my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com, because I provide many different types of re um, of readings or counseling. So please check out my website. Once you book, you're going to get your answers within 24 hours. So it's a quick turnaround. If you have not subscribed yet, I ask that you subscribe to the channel so you can participate when I go live and you'll know when I'm giving free tarot card readings. <coughs> That's something to participate in. Select all notifications, Pisces, so that you will definitely get notified when I go live and when I upload your favorite content. Pisces. All right, Pisces. Nothing came out there. Let's cleanse the energy. This is Virgo energy now that's come out, lay a solid foundation. So something is worth continuing. Something was important enough to you for you to take the time and say you have a solid foundation in something. Maybe this wasn't that long ago, um, but this is the slow and steady dedication and devotion day to day. It's gentle energy. Hold on. Okay. It's gentle energy. It's the energy of six. And six is, of course, the Venetian number, Venus number. So what is that? It's value. You know, it's like I value this enough to go slow with it. I value this enough to go and be with it and sit with it day by day. I value this enough. I value this enough. Um, and so ultimately, you value it enough to lay a solid foundation not too long ago, and then it's surrender now. So surrender now to what? That's what I want to know. That's what that's what I'm asking. What, what are we supposed to surrender now to because we laid a solid foundation? It's almost like God is saying, you put in the work, Pisces. Don't continue to push this. 
allow it to just flow now or else you're going to overpower it and put too much in, at least for this week. So let's just get some clarification here. We have the high priestess. This was sometime around the new moon that you laid a solid foundation. Intuitively, you knew this was a good thing to set your mind to or to set your hard work to. Um, also, this sense of knowing it was right or at the right time. Intuitively, there was this beautiful balance to it. Okay, but why then surrender now? Five of Pentacles. You didn't make much money from it. Or there was already a concern back then that maybe it cost you something. But intuitively, it's almost like you're like, well, this is worth an investment. This is worth the investment even if it costs me something. Um, or I know I'm not going to get any monetary value out of this. But ultimately, there's a sense of, but you did invest in something. Intuitively, you knew this was worth, worth, the, worth the investment. And now it's saying, let go. But why? Why? Why surrender now? Because value is coming back to you. Value will be coming back to you. You have to surrender, though. And it's probably keeping you in a vacuum if you're overworking it or working too hard. That's how you go into the flame. This is a sense of, okay, now let the energy come back around to you. Because there is value coming to you. And there is recognition. There's a sense of fulfillment or contentment. Or you are enough. You have enough. You are valued. This is also Virgo energy. So it's almost like whatever you were putting energy into is now coming back around to be de demonstrable value or to um, collectible value, value that you can receive. So, okay, let's get into the seven day play by play. Pisces, I just, there's a lot of Virgo energy here and that's your, your opposite balancing energy. It's that sense of sense and pragmatism um, that balances out your creativity and chaos and intuition. How does this play out, please? The seventh day, I'm going to get the seventh day ahead of, ahead of time. Seventh day for Pisces, seventh day, seventh day, seventh day, okay. How does this week resolve? Seventh day. Seventh day. Okay. So we got to leave it all there. Let's get into day one, Pisces. Day one, Pisces. We have the Queen of Cups. So that is you or Cancerian energy. This is an energy of I give openly, willingly, and I put my whole self in. This is unconditional support, especially for a vocation or deciding somehow to invest in somebody's work that you believed in or that you're that they're supporting yours. Either way, day one is the decision that somebody is worth it, that they're working really hard, that this is a job well done, somebody that you find that maybe wants to patron you um, or support you or just knows how valuable you are and reminds you of your value, this is certainly an open-hearted investment toward your value or um, open-hearted support of your value. Well, what about day two? We have the Aquarius energy, which is dreams fulfilled and coming true. This is also a sense of truth or the truth about your abilities. Uh, something that you have been trying to manifest or the sense of aim high. Knowing that I should aim high. With this love and support, knowing that I should aim high. But there's defensiveness here as well. There's also a sense of skill. A sense of preparedness. I am ready now to demonstrate my capabilities so i'm ready now to
Hmm. There's still defensiveness here, though. I just want to clarify. Can you please clarify the Nine of Wands? It's almost like you won't settle for less. You know not to settle for less. Four of Wands is here. I wouldn't settle for less with this. This is could be marriage. This could be connectivity. This could be somebody that you're married to. Um... It's almost like keep aiming high. Know that you can do it and don't settle for less. Because there is perfect community here or whoever you're involved with, whatever, whoever you have this relationship with. Could be work, colleague. It's just like expecting the best, waiting for the best, holding out for the best. That's day two. But it's it certainly comes. The sense of... In some ways, protectiveness. It's like you want to be good enough for somebody. Okay. Okay. I think you are. What about day three? We have the four of cups. So there's uncertainty here. There's, but I'm not sure. Okay. Pisces, it's almost like somebody that you're working really, really hard for needs space. And I don't care if this is a potential boss. I don't care if this is a potential lover. It's like, I know that I, that we're going to work out wonderfully together, but they're putting up barriers. They don't know. And that's why I think you're being told fall back. Because you have a solid foundation. This can go farther, but simultaneously it's saying somebody's not sure here. Somebody's not really sure how they feel and they may detach and, and leave because maybe things are going too quickly. Or there's just this sense of that's why somebody left. Right? Clarification. A decision made. Pisces. Shit. Shit. This is an emotional decision that is made, an emotional reaction that was made um, that, that somebody, uh, emotional reaction. Um, but that's what it is. It was like this was hidden. Somebody didn't make their feelings clear. They weren't sure. They weren't certain. And so the decision was made to cut your, themselves off from you. And this is Piscean energy. So this is your energy. Um, this is to the seventh day, but let's clarify then. Why is the moon card here? <sighs> Making a decision on emotions because it happened really quickly. And that's why. Because something was moving too quickly or somebody was being pushed too hard. And so somebody felt like, I got to get out of here. I got to cut and run. King of Swords, this could have been a, a practical decision, an intellectual decision. Um, I think it was a, a, an emotional decision that, that was made. Day three, if we don't keep... It's interesting how maybe, maybe you think, I'm just loving somebody. You know, I'm just doing my best by them. But this seems to be overwhelming. Too much emotion for somebody. Okay. Okay, what about day four? Mm. We have fortune. We have a twist of fate. We have a breakthrough. And I've got to figure out what that is. So what is this Wheel of Fortune? What's the good fortune that comes? Ten of Wands. Why? How is that good fortune? Maybe this is the realization that you were working too hard. And once somebody goes or leaves, there's suddenly a realization of, I have so much more resources. When it's like, it's like you finally realize what a burden it was. 
or somebody finally realizes what a burden this situation was. And then it was actually kind of lucky and serendipitous that somebody decided to cut and run, to cut those responsibilities or duties out. Somebody actually ends up being kind of grateful that somebody decided or reacted emotionally. What does day five bring then? That's the nine of uh, pentacles that I read before. The nine of pentacles is here to say, I'm good on my own. This is Virgo energy. I'm okay on my own. Maybe I feel more secure on my own because I feel like I have power or control over my own life, standing on my own two feet, standing in my own values, realizing how much more value I have once that person is gone. And then I have, yeah, it's a change in value. It's like somebody suddenly changed what they value and what they value suddenly became independence or self-reliability. Um, there could have been major issues financially here. And then it's like day five value is here. What about day six? What about day six? Definitely money comes in or value, some sort of resources or, you know, just value. I'm just going to keep it at that. And then we have the page of swords. So this is an idea or a thought or a message or a DM or an email. And what does it say? Why, why does it matter? It's almost like this could be a change in priority. This sense of, I actually want to be around somebody who's more self-sustaining or um, has more individual value to them, that is more mature and, and kind of like more grown up or that kind of thing. And it may be coming through email. Um, it may become, there's a message that comes in through email or DM or maybe a quick phone call or text message. Um, okay. How else does it put? What? What does the message say? It's an offer of love. It's an offer of faith. It's an offer of interest. And I don't think that you would have been in a position to even be open and receptive to that without allowing this crap to clear out. But there's a different sense of, I don't want it, that craziness anymore. I actually want something that's more reliable and more honest and open and straightforward. Let's get into the moon cards because I feel like it will help clarify. Um, and then we're going to get into day seven. For Pisces, what is all this? Something in the past. Okay. Believe in the impossible. Let me say this to you. This is an exact date because we're talking about a blue moon and a blue moon is happening this cancer season. We're about to experience it on July 21st. That's technically the blue moon, but this was the moon that led up to or created the blue moon, the, the, the full moon on June 21st. So I want you to look back right now and think, what the was I doing on June 21st? What the hell was I releasing or letting go of? Because it has a lot to do with um, this actually coming full circle, the impossible is about to DM you. <laughs> the impossible is about to come to you, uh, kind of be found in your inbox, or you're going to get a message from the impossible because it's not impossible. And it's once again, look at emotions are running high, super moon. This is the full moon. This is it. And I think that this is going to be gratitude. I think this is going to be happiness because of all the craziness that happened over that time between these two moons, this is fulfillment of a cycle or what your aspirations and wishes really were, not what you were about to settle for. Pisces, let's go and finish the seventh day over in the extended. I'm also going to read the rest of this message. The link is down below in the description box. You can see it right below this video or... 
I will pin it to the top of the comment section. If not, just come right over to Vimeo because you're going to find the latest Pisces video right there. You can click on it. I'll see you guys later.